Okay, sorry about that. Right after I paused it, my mom called. So, hey, good timing on that pausing. All right, so, um, where were we? We were going to export our doggy out. So, we're going to take our dog and we're going to export it out into our project folder. Now, because we have changed the size of our dog, we're going to want to check this box right here that says apply armature scale. So once our doggy is all there, we're going to go to, to our project folder, which, huh, I lost it. There we go. And we're going to copy it again and hit export. All right. So we have our puppy. Let's go into Second Life. So I'm going to take off everything. Oh, no. Okay. So I'm going to take off all the stuff uh, parents I don't know why but I forgot how to detach stuff from myself take off detach all HUDs all that junk and we're gonna start with a fresh lady avatar just so we know everything is kinda squared out here which it ain't look at that skeleton four minutes. So let's reset my skeleton in animation and pull ourselves out of the ground. So now we're fresh out the box. So let's right click take off, detach all, take off all our clothes and we're going to go into our inventory and we're going to put on an invisible avatar. They give you those for free in the library. So we are fresh and primed and ready to be dogged. That sounds gross. To become a dog. Alright. So we're going to go file and upload our stuff. So we're going to go to build, upload, mesh model. And we're going to go to our project folder. I'm going to select our puppy. You see, there's our dog. Now we're going to turn low and lowest to nothing. And I'm going to hit include skin weight. And we're also going to do include joint positions. Because we changed a lot of the joint positions. So we have to. It's a custom skeleton. Check that box. Calculate weights and fees. And OK. And then go into our upload options. And let's get a texture for our dog. The base. And then we're going to add our dog. And you see he comes in with these weird cross legs, which is fine. Don't panic. This happens. And we're just going to add a texture to him so that we're not looking at blank dog here. There we go. So you see his arms are going bananas. This is because... Second Life is automatically playing the default standing up animation where your arms are not at your side and stuff for a 2D. Now because our skeleton is not the two the two legged standard animation uh, skeleton anymore, it's flipping out our custom one because that's the animation that's trying to play. So what we need to do in order to get our dog to play and stand right is that we need to create an animation for him to stand on. So let us go back into our avatar thingy magic here. And just real quick, just highlight all um, wait. Let's go into object mode. And we are going to go into the avatar tab and we'll switch it to pose mode. Oh jeez, what the fuck? Oh wait, okay. <clears throat> Pardon not from on Francis. Jeez, why? Did that happen? Alright, alright. This is part of the plan. Part of teaching here. Let's go into edit mode. And let us look at... Oh, that's why. Yeah, it's this one. My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, we're in the wrong blender. Okay, let's, let's go back to this workspace. Which makes me wonder, which dog did I export? just now let me re-export this just to make sure we got the right dog exported here 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we use that because I used it for the bond pose. So this is the right dog. Alright, now we're going to go into pose mode. There we go. Sorry, the bones weren't on the same layer. Uh, weren't visible, so it's like giving me errors for no reason. Because, you know... All right, so here we have our dog animation. We're going to open up a new little window and we're going to activate the dope sheet. And I'm going to press all the bones that are here. And I'm going to press I. And I'm going to press lock, scott, rotate. Lock all of those in. So it's just a pose just so you can stand there so if everything all sorted out while we're in the pose mode we go to render and let's have it on animation because bento stuff has to be on anim not bvh and so it's frame one and I'm gonna start and end at frame one and I'm just gonna hit export well I wonder why is it red Oh well, we just wanted to stand. I already have an AO for these dogs. So, I'm gonna build, upload, animation. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's what the priority. I'm so used to Bento, uh, BVH. <sighs> okay, priority. Two, one, three. All right, let's try that one more time. If this was BVH, I'd be set, but I'm not used to anim. There we go, to turn the priority up. So, now you see we are, we have a stand for our dog. And the dog can stand, at least stand, without crossing its arms. And then you gotta add in scripts so that we can get all the rest of the stuff we're going. Um, like this IAO so the dog can blink every now and then. This may not be the bento one. Nope. Grumble, 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 grumble. Alright, let me try exporting it one more time because I think I exported the non bento dog and not the bento dog. Alright. One of the joys of using two blenders. Gotta remember to close the other one when you're done. <sighs> All that goes wrong with the world. Luckily we're on the beta grid, so it doesn't really matter about how much we upload it. What I think the problem is the priority may be too high on the stand that is canceling out the stuff for the eye. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Bento animation is not something I had a lot of practice with. And I was hoping that maybe I could fake it. But as you see, that ain't the case. You guys see right through that, right? Oh, dear. I think I broke the poor thing's back. What the Hey, it's happening here. There we go. Okay, so let 
know what I want to do? Let me delete this and try this again. What if we use the C select, right? And we select all the bones that we want. All of this. So this is really all the stuff that needs to be animated, not so much as eyes, right? So I'm going to lock those into place. Instead, that have those selected, right? Okay, cool. And this is on frame one, frame one. And I had the priority at three. Let's see how two priority works. So let's see. Export that. And let's try it again at three, just to be sure. In case I jacked it up. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see how this works. Uh, turn this off. Let's see. Yeah, see, it blinks. It was just that one was too high priority for it. Alright, so what do we do with that? Alright, let's see. Alright, so that's a fail. Alright, let's try to hire enemy. Well, the thing about this is, I already made an animation somehow where I got this working. So I'm gonna find uh, Nintendo AO on for this. You see my dog snaps into place. So I'll just provide that for you if your dog is in this kind of position. Um, you can pick it up on the marketplace when you just buy the tin pet for free. And that should have all the animations that I use there. And we can see how that worked because I don't get it. How I did it back then. I probably used the BVH instead of Anim. Listening to the Avastar people talk about which one to use. So, um, tail wag. So his tail is wagging, his eyes are blinking, oh they were blinking, I think I may have closed it. And, let's see, bark, 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 so, and he can bark a little bit. So isn't that all you really need in a puppy, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see how we get his eyes to blink automatically. To examine that some more, we're going to look at our Nintendo pet that we have finished. So I'm going to res that little Maltese. And I'm going to open his body and take that in there. We're just going to copy the script so far. Let's look at it real quick. So I have this blinky eye script and an IAO. So now we don't have to play that animation anymore. It should once we take him off and put him back on. Start blinking. Well, that's gruesome. Let's uh, uh, let's uh, reset that. <laughs> there we go. Tail wag. Tail wag. Yeah, that's not the best walk animation, but like I said, animation is not my my bag, people. I did my best. So we have a white golden retriever with the eye blink script the eyes aren't blinking at the moment for reasons unknown uh, because I stopped the the thing but they they can blink so anyway that's how you rig and put together a quad 
after that it's just a matter of customization not fixing the color and all the rest of that jazz but for the most part that's about it so I hope you guys found this educational because I'm going to make some more tutorials on quads because I've seen something really interesting when it came to centaurs although I guess that will fall more or less into a custom skeleton um, tutorial not so much quads because uh, I like I experimented on some melts. The four armed woman from Shiva from Mortal Kombat and Centaurs. So let's see how many more custom skeletons we can do. Oh, and there was somebody who had a really cool design for Kitsune's where they used the wing bones for the hands and the hand bones for all the tails. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. So let's see where we can go with this. But for now, let's use this as a good starting point. I hope it helps you out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments and stuff like that. But for now, that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have fun with your projects.